Hello, my darlings. How's everybody doing? Hello, my darlings. So, let's turn this into a two DIY video. We're going to take this pretty bowl. I know it doesn't look pretty at all. It was a $4.48 and I purchased it from Walmart, but I only paid a dollar. A dollar! Can you believe that? And we're going to go into the next room and we're going to spray paint the whole entire thing and we will be right back. For this one, we're going to use the Rustoleum Ballet Slipper. to take this mirror that we are using from a previous DIY and all we're going to do with all this I'm going to do for video purposes I'm going to use my hot glue gun with just a dab of hot glue right there and this is what our decorative bowl is going to look like darlings when we display it our regularly scheduled program so for this DIY my darlings hello. you will need one vase the Dollar Tree one of these one of these and one of these my darlings we're going to start by taking the two tea light candle holders that came in the one pack and we're going to glue them together. I'm only using hot glue, but you can use strong adhesive. Now we're going to take the two tea light candle holders that we glued together, and we're going to glue those on the top part of the vase. You should have something that looks like this. Now, let's glue the other, that little vase, we're going to glue it on the bottom of the longer vase. I don't know if that's a little vase, a bowl, or what it's called, but let's just take that little part and glue it on the bottom, okay? I'm gonna take it into the next room and spray paint it. I took this glitter acrylic, I've used it before. It's the folk art. I mixed this one this one and this one I bought all these from Walmart I mixed them in this one because I only had a little bit left and I made my own mixture I poured it in a little cup this is what it looks like okay and now I'm dabbing this I'm dabbing it all the way around. Especially in the areas that I... Oh, by the way guys, I went to clean this because it had my fingerprints on it. And that's what happened. And I decided that I like that, the worn look. So I left it like that. And what I did was I kept on rubbing the paint off um yeah i forgot to tell you guys um you don't have to do that if you don't want to but and now my darlings we're going to put some of these little mirror tiles on each of the joints where each of the pieces meet so that it looks well put together 
I'm just using some strong adhesive and you can use whichever type you like. You can use the one from the Dollar Tree or you could purchase it from Walmart or you can purchase it from any craft store, even online. So there's a little story behind this DIY. In fact, it's a very long story. So I'm gonna skip through all the red tape and I'm just gonna tell you exactly what happened. I was cleaning this piece and it broke off of my hands and it fell on the floor and it cracked. So I am gluing another one of those little round thingy I don't know if it's a candle holder or a fishing bowl. I don't know what it is. Whatever you guys want to call it. But it broke and I had to replace it. So that's why I'm gluing it back on, my darlings. Here, my darlings, this is what you should have. I'm just showing you because mine's turned out wobbly. Items. Just make sure that... You're working with a flat surface. Now let me show you real quick what happened to the previous. It fell and it broke. And here they are my darlings. The two DIYs made out of affordable items from the Dollar Tree. The only thing that I purchased from someplace else was that bowl right there that I purchased from Walmart. And the original price was almost $5, but I got it on clearance for one. So all the items on these two DIYs are from the Dollar Tree, including those decorative balls. I purchased those at the Dollar Tree, and they had them around Christmas time. So my darlings, let me know what you guys think about the weather look on this vase. If that's something that you would like to see in your home decor i think it gives it a vintagey look and i am going to start doing some vintagey diys for my bedroom makeover and this is going to fit perfectly in that decor